What's going on, y'all? My name's Ray. Welcome back to my channel, and you can't imagine we're gonna go to class again to learn a new spell. Loop, so, I just drank all these potions. I'm actually gonna switch it back to this, but I just drank all these potions as like a task, and now I need to go learn Deposso, I think it is. And so yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go. Oh, guess what we're gonna go do? Finally. I've been talking about it the past couple videos, but we're gonna go to flying class. Yep, that's what it is. We're gonna go and get our broom, right? I don't know if we get the broom or if we just learn how to fly and we have to go buy the broom. Um, I'm not sure. So we're gonna do that. But we did Professor Sharp's assignment, so we're gonna go learn the pause though. But also, look at this. I got my talents. So I did eight core. And four dark arts. I don't really have any dark arts spells right now, but like, I'm, I already know I'm gonna use them when they become available. If and when, I don't know when they will be. But, so this is what I got. I got two, no, I got three extra slots for my spells. So that way, when I learn more spells, boom, I will already have slots for them to go on. So I don't have to keep switching out spells all the time. And then I got this dodge, which looks great. So, I'm actually gonna try and practice that. Never used it. I got this. I have no idea how to use it, but it, it after I disarm an enemy, it throws it back at them. Um, the basic cast brings down my cooldown, so I'll be able to use my spells more often. And it builds up ancient meter when I, when I have enemies in the air. So, basically, this is what I have. And blocking a spell sends projectiles back at them, and then with the dark arts ones, it basically my um, spells will do curses on them so Expelliarmus and Stupefy will put curses on them and then if I damage something if I damage an enemy that has a curse on it, it does more damage so yeah that's gonna help help a lot I think so we'll find out if it does hopefully I didn't make a mistake in doing this because I don't think you can respect your character so once you choose you choose that is it. Oh, I need to go down the stairs. How nice to see you, my young friend. So we're gonna make our way down the stairs to class and get um the pulse and then we're gonna go to flying class. And then I think that'll be it for this one. Depends how long it takes. Oh, I have to advance time. Oh, we're going to the map. I have to do it during the day. So let's go to the map. And just wait. Wait until daytime. Obviously, you can't take a class in the middle of the night. I mean, I guess you, it's possible, but... So now, like, these classes are side quests now instead of main quests. How are your assignments coming That's on? pretty cool, though. So maybe you don't have to do it, but it's, um, it's optional, you know? Oh, I can just talk to him right now. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Yes, I Let's am. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. There we go. That was probably the easiest um, one to do. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. Um, sure. Let's go. See, now I have different slots. I just kidded. This one is the one I'm going to use for my exploration, like, kind of diamond. And these three are the ones that I'm going to use for maybe, you know, like, my fighting and things like that. So, I'm going to put... I'm going to put 
What is the pulse though? Is it a Oh here we here it is. It's a purple. Okay. We're gonna put it no, we're gonna put it here. Oh. I'll have to slap something else in there. Okay. No wait, what's the purple here? X? So we're gonna make this X too. So Alright, so we'll go down. We'll go down here. That pushes enemies in our way. Okay. Okay. Can I get it on you? No. Alright. Well, repetition can be an excellent. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Yeah, better be. All right. You guys ready to fly? That's the last time I have a pollution idea that I... Alright, so... Sorry, my phone is going crazy. There we are. Fast travel the perfect stop. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Perfect spot. <laughs> Everybody Can't grab talk. a broom and we shall get started. All right, cool. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I think. <laughs> yeah, now, boo. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, <laughs> your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Am I going to say it? Yep. Up. Like One I've done leg this over, before. So there's a leg <laughs> on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. I'll act like I don't hear it. Alright, ready? Now. Oh, okay, up, lesson, down, nice, nice, nice. Each ring in the courtyard. Do Jeez. take care. The brooms are school property. I want this them returned in one piece. To. Ah, ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, man. Uh, just a little bit of, like, practice well there. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This is like what I've been waiting for. All right. this next set of rings fly through take you around the rings the around the ground. Oh fun. yeah, I can fly faster. What a view! <laughs> Hello, nice day for a flight. Hey, ha, good. how are you, how are you going I've so fast? This. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, I wish I could have too. Mm. 
Nice, this is great. It feels really nice to fly. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes that. to make an appearance once in a while. Oh. Is that the squid that's right outside of Slytherin House? I don't know. There we go. Nice. Now we're gonna have to find the money to buy ourselves a broom. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> Let's try it. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> nice to get above it all, isn't it? Wow. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Nice. So the boost is you hold L2. There's the famous bridge. You can go even faster. All the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. We're definitely going to get in trouble for this, but this is too fun. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Hi, get off. Oh. Nice. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> they love me. I can do no wrong. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Nice. So I'll have to go... Now I can go out and buy my own broom. Cool. The problem is, I am broke. Listen, listen, man. My pockets have nothing in them. But it's alright. Um... 
that'll conclude this video. In the next one, I'll see if I can't uh, get enough money to go ahead and. Uh... How did you fare? Oh, look at this. Feel keen for some illicit spell practice. Meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh yeah, guess what we're doing next? Seeing Sebastian, and Good he's going to tell us what what's up. With a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I would also like to do that, but. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Anyone else? Wow, there's a lot going on. Interesting. Alright, so that'll conclude this video. It's a kind of a short one, but the next one will be definitely um, a good one. So, thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything on your way out. And I'll see you all next time. I've been Rayon. I'm getting off.